kind of a fun little day that I figured I'd share with you guys real quick. Um, Shay has been complaining every single day about the noise of the mud trains on the new Forerunner. And as you heard in our last videos, or if you haven't been paying attention, if you've looked at any of our other videos, um, you'll notice that the noise is actually really loud. It's not too bad, I mean, if you're just kind of used to it and you just enjoy that sort of thing like I do. But for her, when she's in a nice vehicle, just wants to like have a comfortable drive to work every single day and be able to talk to people on the phone, she can't stand it. So until I take over that vehicle, I needed to come up with a solution. So she doesn't know it yet. I told her it was a surprise, but I went out and I picked up a stock set of uh, SR5 wheels uh, that someone was selling. They took off the rig after they didn't even hit 100 miles on their rig and they took these off. Uh, so they come with the wheels, the wheels and tires. You can't really see them both. I'm gonna toss them on for her tonight, and she's gonna be pretty pumped about that, especially since it will be a lot quieter for her, and she's been really looking forward to that. So I'm really excited to see how she reacts to that. Um, oh, I got these. Usually I've been seeing the wheels, the rims themselves for about 250, 300, and then tires, obviously if I saw a set, they were usually about seven, $800, but I picked these up for $300 for all four with less than 100 miles on them. So I couldn't pass it up by any means. I've been on the lookout. I finally found these. So I'm gonna take them home to her and see how she reacts to that. Also picking up my deer today. Um, I shot my first deer last winter and it's been there for about eight months. I dropped it off in December or January. I can't remember when I shot it, but anyways, I'm picking that up today too. So I'll probably share that with you guys. My first deer ever. It just took me a while to find a place to go hunting one and actually see a deer worth shooting. So I was really excited about it. I shot it with a um, M1 Garand, uh, iron sights at about 120 yards. He was walking back to the feeder because he got spooked a bit. So I got really, really, really lucky with him. Um, it was awesome. I, I, I put one, the round went right to his neck. Uh, I was leading him a little bit. My, my rifle was shooting a little to the left uh, beforehand. And so I was leading him a little bit since he was walking back to the feeder. And I mean, he just, I mean, dropped. I wish I could have recorded it. It was a really cool experience. And we, we shot him to eat, you know what I mean? It wasn't like I just shot it for fun or anything. I would process the meat and we've been eating it over the last year. So for all you animal um, lovers out there, we, we did it for a purpose. So um, not just that, but there's a reason they have hunting. Anyways, I don't want to get into that. I'm really pumped about it. I'll show you guys it. First year, it was a 14 pointer. Pretty, pretty stupid, ridiculous, with like perfect branched out. It wasn't super wide, but his forks were really, really cool. So I'll show you that shortly too. But until then, I'm um, gonna show you these tires. Uh, we'll show them to Shay, and then we'll get them out. All right, so there they are. She's about to see him for the first time. Let's see what she says. How do you feel about that? I'm so excited. Yeah, and they came with wheels too, so I can just go ahead and toss them on. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. I can put those on this one and uh, get rid of these and then we'll figure it out. <laughs> no. What, you don't agree with that? It's like trying to polish a turd. This is not a turd. It's like the XJ whenever you put Rubicon wheels on it. Okay. No, that was a, our, our that was a beautiful vehicle also. Can I show people how you look right now? No. Why? You look so dapper. Do I? Okay. He's so cute. Anyways. Alright, surprise over now to go pick up the deer. I just saw she was super pumped about that, which I'm really excited about. I was glad she was excited about the tires. Just for sound comparison, I'm on my way to go to get the deer now. I'm at 65 miles an hour right now. So this is just a... Uh, a constant speed of 65 and I'm running the basically the Rubicon mud trains that come on the Rubicons that's what I'm running inside this 4Runner this is the 2017 Toyota 4Runner TRD off-road edition if you haven't been following along so this is the sound comparison on the inside uh, we're at 70 now I can roll down the window so you can kind of hear that too that's not gonna work probably get a little bit of the outside sound but to me, it's 
like any other mud terrain, you're going to have the sound. I mean, it's just one of the quirks that comes with an aggressive tire. But, um, like I said, Shade hates listening to this every single day going to work and back and forth. Until I get this rig fully, um, we'll run that. What I'm thinking, though, is I'm probably going to put these tires on the... Or these tires and wheels on the um, 99 and run them like that for a while. So we'll uh, we'll see. Uh, see if I can A, get it to work, and B, how it works out. And then I'll just sell the wheels and tires that are on the 99 to help compensate a little bit for these. But, because um, I don't mind the off-road down, uh, off-road sound, plus I can go run it like that. Anyways, picking up the deer, that's just a quick sound comparison. We're about 75 now. I'll do a, a zero to 70, just so you can kind of get a reference also. Okay, here's a quick sound clip from stop up to speed. So you can kind of hear that. For anyone who's just interested, they're still a lot less quiet than the Nitto mud terrains. Those suckers were just loud as crazy. to 60 so there you go that's kind of a quick comparison for that and then I'll do one with the other tires on it afterwards I'm really fortunate this place is only like five minutes from my house one of the perks of living northern and out of town let's uh, see how she turned out All right, got my deer back there, headed back home. It scored a 134 and 4 eighths, he said. I'm not I'm not too savvy on all that stuff. He said it was good. Like I said, that was my first deer. Um, nice little 14 pointer, but um, now it's time to just get it there. Cool. On to the most important task, swapping these out. Yes, they are a different wheel set. I get that, they're the SR5 wheels versus the TRD off-road wheels. Um, that's okay, it's gonna be fine. Like I said, I'm gonna try and put them on there. If they'll fit, then I'm gonna do it. So many damn wasps. Um, I'm gonna put the wheels on here with the mud terrains on that one, and these on this one. And then I'll probably try and sell those, if at all possible. If it's like Jeep, they won't be worth much, but at least they're the five star, so maybe I'll get a little bit of money for it. Let's toss them on. And for reference, that's before, in case anyone hasn't seen them. I need to take those nerf bars off still and the front mud flaps. But anyways, those are the ones on there now, those are the ones going on there. I may even paint those gunmetal. That may look good too. I don't really like the black look, but a gunmetal may be cool. I love when everything is still new, no rust or dirt or mud or anything. Makes everything really nice. Yes, I know, they don't look near as aggressive. But, they'll be quiet. She'll be really happy with that. These actually don't look too bad for what they are for stock wheels. Obviously not as cool, but it's temporary until we get new, a new setup for this one. Okay, just picked up Shay from the pool. We're gonna do a quick sound clip of the new tires on, or just stock tires. Most people know what they sound like, but it'll be a good comparison to have it side by side in the video. So this is from a start, and we're gonna get up to about 70 and test it out from there. You can hear that V6 roar. It's so nice, you guys. Sometimes I leave work at 4.30 a.m. And for those tires to be... This Coming is nice. Away. So there we go. We're at 65. Nothing. Nothing but the wind and the engine. I'm sure she's really happy. We have a less aggressive look, but it's quiet from the inside, which is great. So that's what she wanted, so we made it happen. Uh, we can put him back on whenever we get along roading, but 
Like I said, sometimes I leave at 4.30 a.m. and I don't want to hear mud terrains. I understand. For 30 minutes. This will work until we figure out our vehicle situation. We'll just leave it like this for now. But that's kind of the setup that we're going to be running for a little while during the street. I'm going to put the other tires on the 99 and I'll give you a sound comparison and I'll show you guys clips of that. Um, it's going to look good. It'll probably rub a little bit, so I might have to do a lift a little bit earlier than later, but that'll still be down the line because I'm still trying to figure out what to do with that rig. Polishing a turd, you guys. <laughs> it's not a turd. a turd. A lot of people love those third gens, especially with the lockers and everything. He needs to learn how to take a joke. That's true. I am too serious. Anyways, there you go. That's kind of it. We spin around, take it back home, and call it a night. Happy Hope you guys... life. Happy life. Hope you guys enjoyed that, and as always... Alright guys.